Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is going to be a tool by Skill. Now, I don't own a lot of Skill tools. I used to own a lot of their circular saws. In fact, in my area, circular saws are called Skill saws the same way tongue and groove pliers are called channel locks. The name has just become synonymous with that tool. That's pretty much that's what everybody used to have. Uh, but as far as battery powered tools, not really a name brand most people have. Now, here lately, it seems like they have been growing in that. Uh, many people I see review a lot of skills, power tools, their bigger battery powered tools. I don't have any of those. I don't know how good they are. And this one is their four volt rechargeable screwdriver. And I picked this one up on sale. Normal price is $30. And the only reason why I picked it up is because I put it in my wish list because Dale Carver, he sent me an email, a subscriber. He said that he picked this thing up. And he said he just absolutely loves it. It's becoming one of his favorite tools. He had watched my videos on my powered vessel. He said he thought that I might like this one. Uh, so I put it in my watch list. And then on the Prime Big Day, again, normally it's 30 bucks. I caught this thing for $18. So I went ahead and ordered it to try it out for myself. Also to uh, let you guys know about it and just give you my thoughts on it, who it might be for what it does, all those things, in case you're in the market for one of these, because this one's going to be cheaper than the vessel, easier to get your hands on than the vessel, uh, all the things that go along with that. And it's got a couple other features that I think makes it a good fit for several people out there. Uh, so you might want to check into it. But let me go ahead and tell you about the features of it on the outside, what you get in the box, all those things. And then we'll kind of put it to the test and see what I think about it. Before we get into the features, let's talk about what you get in the box for $30. Uh, you do get, obviously, the screwdriver. That's the main thing. Uh, you do get this bit set here. Uh, let me show you all the bits that you get with that. So several bits along with a bit holder and then a 3 seconds drill bit and that little bitty case there. You do get that as well. And then a micro USB charger. I know a lot of people don't like that, uh, but that's what they give you. You don't get the block that goes in the wall. You only get the cord. That charger plugs in the back here, and then as you charge it, this light blinks green, and then once it's fully charged, it stays solid green to let you know that it's charged. So ultimately, that's really all you get in the box. Again, not bad for 30 bucks. Uh, Features-wise, on the size of this, it overall lengthwise is around seven inches, uh, you can see there, which isn't bad. And then also, it's not really overly thick, which that's why I like my vessel screwdriver so much, because it's really not much different than holding my standard vessel screwdrivers in my hand for the times whenever I'm breaking something loose, finishing something off, maybe my battery's dead and I just need to finish something and I still want to use it as a regular screwdriver because it's what I have on me. I would think you would want your powered screwdrivers to work kind of in that way as well. And if I compare it to this Klein uh, 14 and one adjustable, maybe you've got that screwdriver or you've held it in your hand, it's not a lot different size wise than that right there maybe a little bit bigger this is a bigger klein screwdriver but it doesn't feel uncomfortable in your hand you know just to use it as a screwdriver so then how it works as far as spinning your bits it has this thumb drive up here if you push it to the right it's going to spin your bit clockwise to tighten something you press it to the left it will loosen something i believe i like that better than even the vessel where it's forward and reverse but it's more so the location of it because sometimes while I'm using this as a regular screwdriver, I will still accidentally bump that switch and it will start and stop if I'm not wanting it to. Uh, so sometimes that does get in your way. That's really never going to happen on this. So I actually like the location of that. Very simple to use. Pretty nice. Uh, it does have a bit collet up here. You pull back to insert your bits. I will go ahead and show you this because this is something I look for now that I had that problem in the vessel, with a bit holder, when you pull that back, there's quite a bit of slop in that. Uh, you can see how far that's going in and out. It only does it with the bit holder, though, uh, and it doesn't matter what bit holder. This is just your standard deal. But if I put a solid bit of theirs that goes in here that doesn't have that big detent, uh, that stays in there good. That doesn't push back and forth. So, again, if you have it at this size... That's where it's going to be similar to using like the Klein 14 and one adjustable screwdriver. Pretty similar with that. Uh, another feature that it has on it that makes it kind of nice is this non-contact voltage tester. You press that button there. It's going to blink, one, blink once to let you know that it's on. And then as you move it to something that would have power on it, you have to hold down that button the whole time you're using it. If I let go, it's not going to do anything. But if I hold it down going to buzz and let you know 
that there's voltage present. Uh, so it's not as good as a regular non-contact voltage tester. So I can turn this one on. I can put this in the neutral slot and I won't get any kind of a beep. And then I can go over to the uh, hot and then you can see I've got that red there uh, because this one just has a pinpoint thing on it, whereas this is more of just a general area type thing. But it does let you know that something's there. You could use it to help you diagnose, to check before you get your meter out and things like that. And then it also has two lights that light up a work area. It's not too bad of a light. It does light up quite a bit. It's enough that for what I'm gonna tell you that I think this is for, uh, it might save you some space in a bag. So, so that's really all the features. Let me go ahead and show it to you in use. And then at the end, I'll talk about who I think this is for. But again, that's just my opinion on it. Only you know if this tool is right for you, but let's go ahead and put it to work and let me show you what it will do. So in showing you the use, I'm gonna again, I'll use my vessel right next to it, just to give you an idea. That one's 3.6 volt, this one's four volt. 230 RPMs and stuff. I'd have no idea what the torque is. Uh, so we'll just compare the two here. But again, this is something to me that you wouldn't even use a powered screwdriver for. It's not gonna work. I'm not even worried, even though these screws would go into my workbench. I know it's not gonna go all the way through. But just to give you an idea, starting from nothing, no pre-drilled hole, no anything. Now, if you pre-drill a hole, you might could do stuff like this. That's as far as it's going to go. Once it starts torquing out, uh, it's going to flash the lights at you, which is the same thing really that the vessel does. I'll start it over here. See if I can get over the camera. It torqued out. So if I can get them both in there, you can see that the skill may be a couple threads lower. So a little bit more power than the vessel. I've got this vessel on the highest power setting. Uh, so that's the most that it's going to do. So uh, just to give you an idea on that, again, I feel like that's not necessarily what this is used for. Again, to me, what it's used for is you just want to save your wrist putting in screws like this, machine type screws. The hole's already drilled and tapped and you're wanting to just go in with it. So we'll start with the skill up on the top screw. I've got both the screws started. Uh, you can see here, I'm gonna get it onto the screw. We're gonna go clockwise. That's real time, I didn't adjust it, so it'll give you an idea on the speed. Now we're gonna go with the bottom screw with the vessel. I'm gonna use the highest torque. That way, if for some reason it falls out, again, you'll know a torque comparison that even the highest torque on this one doesn't compare with the skill. Uh, so again, going into the bottom screw. So again, that gives you the comparison of the speed and the time of the vessel versus that. And again, this to me is what all these screwdrivers are for to save your wrist from just that repetitive turn on something that's an easy screw. And you could always, again, use this as a regular screwdriver if for some reason it did torque out, backing it out. Even though that didn't, I could come in here, loosen it by hand, and then finish working it out. Or if I got it so far in and it didn't really torque it down all the way, it torqued itself out as far as the screwdriver, you can still finish by hand. So again, it still can be used as a regular screwdriver, whether the battery's dead, uh, whether you just it doesn't have enough oomph to finish the job or to start the job and getting that screw in and out. So that's still, a, that's always a plus for me that it doesn't have to be charged and that it's a size that's not just overly big uh, that it just still feels like a screwdriver when you use it. So yeah, guys, that is the Skill 4-Volt Rechargeable Screwdriver. Again, who I think that this is for would be a maintenance tech or someone who doesn't really need the power of a 12-volt tool even or anything like that because that's just extra weight to carry around. And maybe you only carry around a small bag like this. Look at how much room that takes up versus if I take that out and then I put this in. You know, I've got room for a couple more pairs of pliers or whatever else. And this is just a whole lot lighter and a lot smaller. If you're never going to need uh, the bigger power tool to put in bigger screws or you're going into wood sometimes and things like that. If you're just going around putting screws 
uh, taking out receptacles, putting them back in, things like that, where you normally you can get by with just a screwdriver. If you're that kind of a person with as a maintenance person, uh, this might be the right tool for you, or maybe you just want to carry this around in your pocket as an everyday carry. It's not overly big. You get a flashlight, a non-contact voltage tester, and a powered screwdriver, and a regular screwdriver. I think for 30 bucks, not bad. I think for 18 what I got it for, it's even better. Uh, not a bad price at all, but again, only you know if this is something that you would use or not. But if you have it, let me know what you think about it. Uh, and if you don't have it, let me know what you think about it. Would you think that this is the right tool for you or would you pass on it? Or is there something else out there that you've been using that's pretty similar to this that you think is better? Drop that down in the comments below as well. Always helps whenever people give their suggestions, not only for me to look at, but for others to look at as well so that they can find the right tool for them. So hope this was useful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video.